let, let's just start for, for both of you. Alex, I'll start with yourself. Um, we kind of touched on it in the introduction there. It's, it's a topic that's hugely important uh, across the board, but it's also a topic that's got something of a, a, a nebulous, because it's so all-encompassing, you know, there, there, there's something a nebulous around uh, diving into these different aspects. So the first question I'd like to put to both of you is, is what does sustainability mean for your organisations and, and why it's important for your work? Um, Alex, let's start with BCG. What, what, what Define sustainability for your organisation and how it's critical. I mean, sustainability for BCG means basically two things. The first is that sustainability for ourselves means leading by example. Full stop, right? So BCG has the intention, has the ambition and is strongly and quickly going towards really being a sustainable company for ourselves and what we are doing, but also including the projects which we are doing and especially the projects that we are not doing, right? So this is super important for us as a company, for our employees, for all the stakeholders around us on the one hand side. On the other hand side, however, is it's also super important for us to helping our clients to become more sustainable, our partners to become more sustainable. And this by, by showing the clients, the partners and all our ecosystem to really showing them that sustainability, profitability, efficiency, etc. It's not contradictions, but it's actually two sides of the very same medal. And you can actually bring both together because it's our obligation, but also because it's good for business, to be very honest, because we are here to do business in a sustainable, but also profitable way. And because we are convinced of this, we're strongly pushing into that very same direction. Yeah, yeah. I, I wrote a piece, crikey, I think it was about four years ago now, that tapped exactly into that point, Alex, that um, said, actually, and the world's moved on an awful lot, but not least having a small, a small matter of a pandemic in between, uh, but the world, world's obviously moved on. But back then I said, look, the way that we as an industry should be looking at a lot of these sustainability initiatives that were, were starting to come to the fore, is, is put it into the language of the CFO, because as you say, the, the, the two are completely aligned. Um, Justin, same, same initial kicking off question for yourself. Um, what does sustainability mean for, for Synchron? Um, why is it so important to, to your operation, the way you work? I, I want to start by building off what Alex had said. Um, and it, it really comes down to a mindset shift. And I, I love the, the way that he, he wrapped up that, that second part of his answer where targeting that CFO, the, the profitability, the efficiency, the productivity of the organization, I think that first and foremost is where Synchron is taking that step forward in thought leadership, understanding how we can kind of shift the mindset, not only of our organization, but of our customers, because ultimately, we play in the space of service lifecycle management. We have a full end-to-end -end SLM uh, suite of products, and service as you know you both are aware unfortunately there are times where we can't afford to work from home we have to go out and visit the asset we can't afford to reduce business travel um, so there are certain mandatory actions that need to take place in the service industry and i think what we're seeing at synchron and the way we view sustainability is how do we drive this into the operations itself um, building on what alex had said because Ultimately, when I talk to service leaders, you know, around the world, the challenge isn't necessarily of, you know, is sustainability a priority? It's how do I measure it and how do I build it into my day to day operations? And so for us, that's what sustainability really means is how do we how do we build sustainability into those operations, driving the same outcomes from a profitability perspective and really honing in on how you can be more efficient from a carbon footprint perspective. Yeah. Yeah. If I may yeah. just add to this, Justin, because this is this is super exciting what you just said, because we're also deeply convinced that in order to change, you need to raise awareness, business awareness, emotional awareness, etc. But before awareness, you need transparency. You have to know where you're standing, where where are your expectations, where are your competitors standing, right? So we, we talk about data. We talk about knowing what is the starting point, where do I want to go to, and in which steps. So this is super exciting, but you need the tools, right? Mm. And then you get the awareness or a basis for awareness. 
Yeah. Absolutely agree. Hi there, my name is Chris Oldland. I'm the Editor-in-Chief and Founder of Field Service News. I hope you found that short excerpt from one of our in-depth, long-form interviews of use. If you did, then why not have a look at an FSM Pro membership? This will give you access to over 70 hours plus of in-depth, long-form interviews where you can access the full interview. You also get access to the world's leading resource library dedicated specifically to the field service management sector. Over 130 resources that cover key areas such as digital transformation in field service, remote service technology and how that aligns to on-site service delivery, servitization, advanced services, all of these key areas and many more. There are key resources so you can learn from your peers and those that are leading the way in how you, the field service world is evolving. There's also the new FSN education platform and we're adding courses there every single month with already a number of masterclass courses that don't just give you knowledge but actually give you the blueprint so you can develop a program within your own organization and see real world value. You can access all of this content for just £450 a month or you can access it on a monthly basis at £45 a month. Head over to fieldservicenews.com, subscribe and find out more.